gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up Hello everyone. I know it has been such a long time since we have posted. I think our last post was back in November. It was when the kids went to fall formal. And we apologize for the long break that we have taken over YouTube. Our lives over the past few months has just been absolutely um, crazy, but in a good way. And it was just easier for Luke and I to be present and in the moment than trying to worry about vlogging. So I know that a few of you have commented on our channel asking if we're ever going to come back, if we're okay. And we appreciate all of you so much checking in with us and for all of you being so patient with us. I'm happy to say that yes, we are picking up the camera. We have been vlogging again, but I kind of just wanted to recap with you what has happened since we last posted. And since then, we have celebrated Kenya's 17th birthday. And the biggest thing is you might remember one of our previous episodes we had shown you that Kenya went to Nashville she was in studio with her producer Ben Calhoun from Citizen Way and was able to write and record her very first single in January we are excited to say that her single released and you probably saw um, some of the excitement on the Papa's Kitchen channel because we had Susan and Jerry here visiting us. And not only did her single release in January, she was also asked to sing at the National Western Stock Show and Rodeo. And she sang at three different rodeo performances. The Stock Show is something that has been a part of Denver for years and years. Um, my dad and his family actually when he was a kid uh, were showing cattle at the stock show and they would go to the rodeo. I grew up going to National Western Stock Show and it's become a very big event here in Colorado. So we were honored to have Kenya be able to sing at three of the different rodeos. And I think for at least two of the events, they were completely sold out at the Denver Coliseum. So she sang the national anthem and that was in front of about 10,000 people each time. And we found out the uh, performances were actually televised as well. So that along with her release, she had a release party um, at a local venue here where we live. It was Wild Goose Saloon. It is a great venue. It's a restaurant. Um, the owner uh, was so kind to let Kenya go ahead and use their stage and do her release party. So this episode, I just kind of wanted to check in with you, let you know that we're doing good and that we have been picking up the camera. We actually have more episodes ready for you guys in the bank. So we hope that you guys will check back here on a regular basis. We'll be getting more videos up and just kind of get the launch of our channel back up and going. Thank you once again for being so patient with us. So let's talk about all the events happening in January that kind of I just really felt like I wanted to be more present and in the moment than always worrying about picking up the camera. I just kind of wanted to let you know and we wanted to show you some snippets that we were able to get um, through this time. So yes, the national anthem was a big thing. Kenya had a lot of fun being at National Western Stock Show. She hopes to return next year. Luke and I were so proud of her and the performances. <laughs>
as you look at the red and white and blue of our country, it is time to join with your hearts and your voices. As tonight we are led in the singing of our national anthem by the lovely and talented Kenya Reese. Singing the national anthem has always been a favorite of hers. Uh, she's been doing it for the past couple of years, and she's excited that she's getting to be able to sing at bigger venues. Um, her hope one day is to be able to sing at the national finals rodeo. Uh, so uh, it'll be fun to see her pursue that dream. But figuring out her outfits, watching her for each of the performances, and just being with the people at National Western were so meaningful for her. After she was done with that, we went into her release party, and the evening of the release party was amazing, and we definitely have some video of that. We have our friends to be so thankful for, for capture, capturing that video for us, and also everyone that turned out, that lived locally close to us, turned out to support Kenya on her big night. It was so fun to see them all there celebrating with her. So we hope you guys enjoy being able to see part of that event. to party with you. Thanks for having us. Congratulations, Kenya. I'm excited for you. Kenya, this is the first step. Don't stop. Keep going. Press on. It'll get hard and then it'll be totally worth it. Congratulations. Proud of you. Kenya, you're going to rock it and we're super excited for you. Awesome job, Kenya. Can't wait to watch you. Woo! This is a special one tonight. I met Kenya and her parents a couple months ago and they were telling me about what she's got going on. And it just seemed so appropriate 
to have a local girl debut here at the Wild Youth Saloon. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I listened to her sound check today, and I've been doing this a long time. It literally choked me up. This girl has got it. She is absolutely amazing, and I know that's why you are all here tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for Miss Kenya Reese!
great job. Fantastic vocals. Way to handle the crowd excellently. I was very impressed. Can't wait to see more. I know you're gonna do great things, and I'm stoked. Rock and roll. You blew it away. You, you got what it takes. Keep your composure and pay attention to your song. Don't let anybody get you down. Congratulations, girl. Yes, congratulations, Kenya. We love you so much. Rock with you. thing that we had going on was not only just Kenya's music. Lincoln has been playing his second year of basketball at a local high school that is close by us and we were very proud of him. He was able to get on the JV team and also varsity. He suited up for varsity and he got playing time in varsity as well. So not only was Kenya's music keeping us busy, but on top of that, immediately after we finished with her release party, we were already doing basketball games with the the music and everything that we were going to. But February was filled with a ton of basketball games. So we were going to the games quite a bit. Um, we were pretty much almost every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday we were driving to basketball games. And it has been a joy to be able to watch Lincoln play basketball. There were moments where um, I've seen him grow so much this year. He st has started scoring more in his games. I think there was a couple of games that he was the top scorer in his game, along with the fact of, I think, one of the games, I loved it. He had gotten fouled. He made the shot with the foul, and then he got to shoot the free throw, and he made the free throw as well. So a lot of highlight moments there, and I was just, once again, wanting to be present in those moments and going to a lot of basketball. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing snippets of what we've been up to over these past three or four months. It's been a wild, crazy, but very fun ride. Yes, right? yes, definitely. So I have Kenya here with me. I just wanted her to let you guys know her thoughts on this whole music journey, where she's at, and just kind of fill you in on from her perspective. Oh man, it's been so amazing. Um, I love my first single. It's always going to be a really big part of me forever, but um, it's been a couple months since it's released. Mm -hmm. um, we have, it's been doing actually pretty well, you know, for a new artist, new, like I, first time ever putting music out there. It's been doing really well. Um, I've been getting um, gigs and stuff like that, which is really great, you know, uh, just a chance to be able to go and perform and mm -hmm. I love that uh, it's it's getting to do what I love what I truly love and that's something that I will never take for granted and I thank God for every day I really appreciate this opportunity that he's just given me uh you guys can actually listen to my song on yes. Spotify and Apple Music and a bunch of other streaming platforms <laughs> yes. I don't know all the names of them but um you can listen to it on a bunch of other streaming platforms you can uh, also watch my music video on YouTube and you can follow my my YouTube channel. And yes, I have my own YouTube channel, by the way. But um, yeah, there's a, just a lot of new stuff going on for me. It's a completely different chapter in my life. It's a lot of fun. And it's something that I hope, uh, you know, God, God will bless. I'm sure a lot of you are asking what next? What's next? You've recorded <laughs> music. Now what, right? 
And that's where Kenya actually needs your help. So um, the song is out there now, but it just doesn't stop. It's only beginning here. And we really wanted to come to you and say to our YouTube audience, Kenya needs your help. You guys have been so sweet to follow her journey ever since from, I think it's four years ago that we started the channel. I was, I think I was yeah. like 12 or yeah. something like that. And you guys have become like a part of our family. So we're reaching out to you today and we're asking you, can you please help Kenya continue on this journey? So now that the song is out there, please go listen to it. Like she said, it's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, it's on a whole bunch of other platforms and it's called Can't Take Me Down. And um, it, I am so proud of her and the song is so fun. <laughs> but if you're also wondering where the story behind Can't Take Me Down came from, we're gonna put the link to the video of the story behind the song um, down in our description below along with all of Kenya's information. Mm -hmm. But here's some really specific things that you guys can do to help Kenya out, get to that next chapter in her recording um, journey. Mm -hmm. So first of all, please go listen to the song. If you're interested in the story behind the song, watch that video and make sure and download it, share it with your friends, let people know about it. We would love that so much. I know she would appreciate it very much. I would really, much. really appreciate that, yes. Now, second thing is her social media. She needs help, guys. She's got to start building that up. With that, it helps get her name out there, helps get the song out there. Yeah. So. We ask that if you guys can definitely go, she is on Instagram, she's on TikTok, um, and yes, you heard it right just a few minutes ago, Kenya now has her very own YouTube channel. So exciting! She, <laughs> she needs your help. She needs you to go to that YouTube channel. She needs you to hit subscribe. She needs subscribers. And her official You Can't Take Me Down music video is on that channel. Please. Yep. Feel free to watch that, share that with your friends. That is not gonna be the only thing she posts on that channel. No. Nope. Um, <laughs> she's gonna kind of post about her journey bec becoming a new recording artist, what it takes, and just share her journey with you. Um, so please, we're gonna put the link to her channel down below as well. So please make sure and go check that out. Hit subscribe, uh, share with other people. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, what is next for Kenya? Well, yes, she's got that song out and it's great, we love it, but that is not the only song she has written and I'm <laughs> sure you guys heard some of that from her release party. She's got several other singles and it's getting back in the music studio. And with um, artists that are just starting out right now, yes, she has a producer and everything, but still at this stage, there is some cost that comes along with younger and newer artists that she's gonna incur. And her next goal is to get back in the studio so she can give you guys more of her music. So if you guys want her to get in the studio and you wanna hear more of her music, download her song, go to her YouTube and her social media channels. There is one more way that could help her. Kenya was accepted on a board called Generosity Rocks. It was quite the process to be able to get her to be accepted by Generosity Rocks. And what Generosity Rocks is, is for recording artists and for them to be able to have people help support them in their music. Mm -hmm. So. We ask if you're able to, um, please go check out the link to Kenya's Generosity Rocks page. Um, and if you're able to give and help get her back in the studio, she would appreciate it so much. But that, those are all different ways that you can help her next in her career um, as a singer. And once again, we just can't thank you guys enough for being here. Um, you guys are family, we consider you like family. You've watched these kids go on their journeys the past four years. Grow up. <laughs> and she's, we still have a lot more with her, but we are so excited that she's branching out on her own for her YouTube channel. And we're really excited to see where this next chapter of hopefully being able to get back in the studio and record more of her original songs so you guys can enjoy her love of music just as much as she does. As always guys, we are so thankful for all of you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.